people are advised to drink at least eight glasses of water a day. This equivalent to about two liters in a metric system of measurement. However, the question is, is drinking water more than this is healthy or unhealthy? Are there any parameters on how to measure the correct amount of water people should drink in order to maintain balance in their system? In this video you will learn if excessive intake of water is healthy or unhealthy and what are the effects of this to you if you are doing consistently. Stay tuned. Human, plants and animals need water to survive. There can be no life on Earth without water. Why is water so important? Because 60% of our body weight is made up of water. Our bodies use water in all the cells, organs, and tissues to help regulate body temperature and maintain other bodily functions. Because our bodies lose water through breathing, sweating, and digestion, it's crucial to rehydrate and replace water by drinking fluids and eating foods that contain water. Water is an essential requirement for life on Earth because it functions as a solvent. It is not just a solvent, but a universal solvent. It means it can dissolve more substances than any other liquids. Likewise, it enables key chemical reactions in animal, plant and microbial cells. Its chemical and physical properties allow it to dissolve more substances than most other liquids. Water's importance in the human body can be loosely categorized into four basic functions. One transportation vehicle. Water is called the universal solvent because more substances dissolve in it than any other fluid. Molecules dissolve in water because of the hydrogen and oxygen molecules ability to loosely bond with other molecules. Blood, the primary transport fluid in the body, is mostly made up of water. 2. Medium for chemical reactions. Water is required for even the most basic chemical reactions. Water is an ideal medium for chemical reactions as it can store a large amount of heat and is electrically neutral. It also has a pH of 7.0, meaning it is not acidic or basic. 3. Lubricant or shock absorber. Water is the fluid that protects and lubricates many of the organs and tissues in the body. 4. Temperature regulator. Human life is supported within a narrow range of temperature, with the temperature set point of the body being 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees centigrade. Too low or too high of a temperature causes enzymes to stop functioning and metabolism to be halted. The hypothalamus in the brain is the thermoregulatory center for the human body. When body temperature rises, the hypothalamus sends a signal to the smooth muscle of blood vessels. Once on the skin, extra heat exits the body via perspiration. Water and electrolytes lost in sweat need to be replenished in order to maintain fluid and electrolyte balance. Drinking too much water can be unhealthy and even lead to death in extreme cases. When you drink more water than your kidneys can handle, you can upset the balance of sodium levels in your blood. This is called water intoxication, and in extreme cases, it can cause brain damage, comas, and even death. Water can be as dangerous as any poison if you drink more than what your body requires. Your kidneys filter out excess waste and water from your bloodstream. But they can only process 800 to 1000 ml of water an hour. And if you somehow manage to drink more than that without throwing up, you can run into trouble. Because you're drinking faster than your kidneys can process it. So, the excess ends up in your cells. Normally, your cells are surrounded by a carefully balanced solution of sodium and water, which flows in and out through tiny holes in the cellular membrane, so it keeps the sodium concentration both in and out of the cell balanced. But when you drink too much water, the sodium solution gets diluted. It's not salty enough. So, some of that extra water rushes into the cell to restore balance, and that causes it to swell up. Doctors call this water intoxication, and it's a big problem. Now, most of your cells can handle the swelling to a degree since soft flexible tissue like fat and muscle can stretch. But for the cells in your brain, it's another story, because your skull is not stretchy. Excess water in the body causes the body's salt levels to go down and the cells to swell. 
This swelling causes them to get bigger, and those in the brain press against the skull. This pressure causes a throbbing headache, confusion, or drowsiness and may lead to brain impairment and trouble breathing. As the pressure increases, you risk brain damage, coma, and even death through effects like hypertension and bradycardia. And it could all be over in less than 10 hours. The buildup of fluid in the brain is called cerebral edema. This can affect the brain stem and cause central nervous system dysfunction. Cerebral edema categorizes into either vasogenic, cellular, osmotic, and interstitial causes. In this case, if excessive drinking of water is the cause, it is categorized as cellular. When pressure in the skull has been built up because of swelling the brain, it causes other problems as listed below, and some of these were already mentioned previously. Headaches. Nausea. Vomiting. Drowsiness. Muscle weakness or cramping increased blood pressure, double vision, confusion, inability to identify sensory information and difficulty breathing. The good news is that there is a simple technique to keep yourself safe. The average healthy adult need 3 to 4 liters of water per day. And, because this can come from food and other beverages as well, drink only till you're thirsty, then stop. The makeup of the body's fluids, particularly the fluid in the brain's ventricles, begins to change as the body runs out of water. Changes in ventricular fluids can be detected by the lamina terminalis neurons that border the ventricles, providing a snapshot of whether the body has enough water. These neurons also get information from other areas of the brain, providing a more complete picture of the body's water requirements. In short, when you feel thirsty, you must rehydrate because your body is having an imbalance of liquids or fluids, and when you are not, don't rehydrate.